Okay, rain at your house yesterday? All kinds of rain. Really? Okay, mm, you got a good yeah. one, Todd. You? I, I fell asleep so early. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5.30, yeah. this guy. Boy, after a long you weekend, though, on our shift, yeah. sometimes Gosh, you do need to yeah, turn yeah. in early. Uh, areas hard to sit right on top of the Big Eye into the South Valley, and boy, did the rain come down. You know, yesterday yeah. it was about uh, four tenths at the Sunport, which was a one-day rainfall record. So nice. really? it was kind of hit and miss and sporadic, but where it did storm, it stormed awfully hard For out sure. there. Uh, we had sure. a lot of photos coming in of gust nados and dust devils and wow. blind spots out there as well. So it was a pretty active day weather mm. and active skies continue across New Mexico. I want to show you what we've got out there right now. Uh, just some spotty showers around the Duke City. Maybe on the west and northwestern corner of the metro up towards Rio Rancho and Bernalillo we have sprinkles, but otherwise it does look dry. Look at the heavy soaking rains around Socorro down towards Las Cruces and back west towards Lordsburg this morning. Uh, this rain in southern New Mexico is probably going to be around for most of our Tuesday here. We are concerned about flash flooding issues. Socorro basically points straight to the west and straight to the south. And this southwestern corner of New Mexico over the next few days could be taking on as much as six inches of rain in spots. So we're really concerned about some flooding issues. We've got 50s and 60s on the thermometer this morning. It's a pretty mild start to the day, and we've got dew points in the 50s to about 60 degrees. Not a big temperature dew point spread, so there could be some patchy fog developing. It just kind of feels like a humid summer morning out there. It doesn't feel like September at all. Now, before we talk about about today's weather in more detail. We do have Odile now weakening to a tropical storm starting to lift further off to the north. Looks like Arizona gets in on these uh, tropical moisture remnants already starting Wednesday. And for New Mexico, it's going to be Thursday and Thursday night. So rain chances actually are going to be on the increase over the next couple days. And we've got some soaking showers to get this one started. Look at the rain just camp out over southern New Mexico basically all day long with scattered showers possible around Albuquerque up towards Santa Fe. Watch what happens tonight. More heavy rains could be pushing into the southwest. Western part of the state. And for our Wednesday, southern New Mexico still sees the highest rain chances. And then on Thursday, that's when the remnants of Odile start to move in. And that's when we all see a soaking downpour threat along with a flash flood threat, I think. 24 hours worth of rainfall. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, Socorro forecast to pick up about three quarters of an inch. It could be more than an inch of rain for Rudo, so TRC and Deming. Now let's add Wednesday's rain to Tuesday's rain. And look at some of these two day totals showing up here TRC 3.05, Las Cruces 2.6, Rudo, so over over two inches. And all of this happens again before the remnants of Odeal roll in. And so, southern New Mexico, boy, we could just have lots of rain coming your way between now and Thursday night. Uh, temperatures in the mid 70s in southeast New Mexico, scattered storms. Rainier skies are expected from the Sacramento's around Alamogordo and then points to the west. Southwest New Mexico, we expect this big old shield of rain to be parked overhead basically all day long. And your afternoon temperatures, for the most part, will be in the 70s. Now, in the west central and northwestern part of the state, just some isolated showers. Warmest temperatures in New Mexico will be seen up around Farmington and Shiprock in the middle 80s. Just some scattered thunder showers here across the northern mountains, 70s to about 80 degrees, and not too terribly of a rainy day for northeast New Mexico, kind of right on the edge of the action. Spotty showers. Vegas hits 76, Edgewood at 74. For the Albuquerque metro, it's going to be some low 80s. Temperatures pretty close to average for this time of year. Off and on scattered showers can't be ruled out throughout the day, but it's certainly not looking like a washout for the metro. And tomorrow, more of the same, kind of right on the edge of the action with these scattered shower chances. Now, Thursday into Thursday night, even maybe into Friday morning. That's when we expect the remnants of Odile to be directly over New Mexico, and that's when we all get in on the flooding threat. We head into the upcoming weekend. The rain chances, they start to shut down, but we'll probably have some breezy to windy conditions to deal with.